Hey everybody, welcome back to more Tech Tips with Heather. Now, today I'm going to be showing you how to record video games with a screen recorder and be able to get the face recorder in the corner here. So, you're going to need to have a simple screen recorder, which you get from your software manager. I'll show you a second here. So you go to your menu, then up to the top, software manager, type in your password, and wait the 30 seconds that it takes to load. Alright, so now that it's open, you're going to go to your sound and video, click on that, then you can you can choose to scroll through and try to find it, or you can simply go to the little search bar and type in simple screen recorder, and it's all one word. And then up here at the top, you just want the one that says just simple screen recorder, you don't want the one that says simple screen recorder lib. Because that's like a add-on, I think. I'm pretty sure. So, you double-click on that. It brings you here, and where mine says remove, you click install. And that's where you get it from. And then, once you install it, you go to your menu bar, and it goes to the sound and video category. And right here is your simple screen recorder. Now, the other thing you're going to need is OBS recorder. So, you go to, you're going to need the internet for that one. So, you're going to go to Firefox. For it to load, there we go. Then I am going to go to the Google home page. Now that once that's open, then you want to type in OBS, enter. And right up here at the top it says open broadcaster software home. Um, you want to click on that and you want to make sure that this one, that is the right one. So in right here where it's got the green letters, it says HTTPS. The S is, stands for security and it means that the website is secure and that you, there's no viruses there. Once you're here, then you want to click on download OBS Studio and it shows three options. One is for Windows 7 or higher and Mac for the Mac OS's and here's the Linux one. You want to click on the Linux one. I already have it installed so I am not going to install it again. Then once you get your OBS Studios, you want to open up your OBS. So again, that will be found in Sound and Video. So once you open up your Sound and Video, no, your OBS, mine already has a face cam in the corner because I've been using it. But to enter in your face cam, you first plug in your webcam into your computer, click the plus button and go to Video Capture Device. Click on that, click OK, and it will bring you here. I've already got mine entered, so I don't want it to glitch out by clicking anything. All right. Uh, I can't, okay, all right, whatever. So I'll remove that because I already have it. So then once you get your face cam in the corner, then you click on your face cam just a single time. Then you right click on it and you go to the bottom where it says window projector and that you click on that and it brings up this window and that's the window I'm using right now. Once this window is open, you don't really need this. You don't want to exit out of it though because it's still got to run in the background to have this open. So you just shrink that and then if you, in the bottom right hand corner, it says the OBS Studio. You click on that and it removes that tab from the bottom bar. Now you click on your uh, project, the projector here. You, click, you right click on it and you click always on top and then that way when you're playing a game it'll always be on top of whatever screen. One thing I should mention though is that when you are playing in a game and you already have the settings on full screen for whatever reason it covers up the little box in the corner so you don't want to have your games set on full screen you can set the resolution to be bigger but you want to uncheck the thing that says full screen on it so I'll show you that how that works in a minute here so the other thing you're going to need is your simple screen recorder. So you, again, you go to your to the start button and to sound video. And there's a simple screen recorder. You open it up and you click continue. Once it brings you here, then you can type in your profile. Like you click new, type in your profile or whatever. And here's where the what it says for the because it, it records the the sound of your voice as well, which is really nice. So you just click the one that you want to have record. The, whatever mic you have you're using. You click continue and then this is where it will save to and you can edit the last the name or whatever. I'll change to add three there and you can do a, lot, a couple different web uh, formats and stuff so you can continue. From here you can start recording. So once it starts recording then you can click pause recording and save record. So you shrink it 
then in the bottom right hand corner this red button that's showing that it's already recording so you click that and then it removes the tab from off the bottom bar here okay so now i'll show you some of the games that were causing me trouble so go to my menu um i'll go with storm band career now this is the like uh, sort of like a 3d kind of game well like not really 3d but uh first person shooter sort of kind of game i guess you'd call it an fps and i uh i had tried to record it previously just using plain old obs but then the screen was really choppy and my face was really choppy so i'll like wave my hand and or move my head and it would be like stuck there so just like how this is stuck so then i start use this method and i can move all i want without having any troubles like the other way also it would freeze up so bad so that while you were trying to watch the video then you'd hear the audio but you wouldn't be able to see anything moving like it would just be completely frozen um, at, in the video so this is one game uh, a neat feature is if you click on your little window here press alt you can click and drag and then you can go up here and press your x button and then you can press alt drag and put it back to where you want so that's a really neat feature too. Okay, so another game is Battle for West Noth. Now this one is automatically set to full screen on most computers. So you wanna go down to the right hand corner here and it says preferences. Then you go to the display button and it this little box where it says full screen is on most computers it's automatically checked as full screen. You wanna uncheck that and then that makes it so your face can your webcam can stay up in the corner there. So in Marty's last video, he did a video on top five best free Linux games. And this is what did his number one game. But he wasn't able to play it because of encoding overloading issues with OBS and it was so choppy and stuff. So, but this way, my computer is cheaper and it was crappier made than Marty's. And it works on my computer perfectly fine do, using this method. So. That is really awesome. Um, so I'll play some of the game and show you some of the action. Ouch. Yeah, gonna take take that, you. Now I can have an upgrade, so I'll put them as an Elvish Ranger. I like Elvish Rangers because they can hide in the woods and they can like disappear, pretty much disappear into the woods, so Okay. So I'll bring that guy down there. Okay, he's up there. Very well. Okay, so next time I get 1,800 pieces of gold. Oh, yeah. Move that out of the way. Move it back. There we go. And another thing, too, that I noticed is that having the face in the corner kind of makes you feel like you're talking to somebody so when you're talking to a face to your camera and you actually feel like you have an audience even if that audience is yourself so yeah you might look like you're talking to yourself but it it really helps me to feel more natural about doing videos and stuff and that i'm not just talking to a little square square recorder is what i used to feel like so this way is really nice another thing too you can adjust the size of your your projector, but you need to have your station open. I call uh, this section your station, and I'll show you why. So, you get rid of that, and then you go to adjust the size, then it starts seriously glitching out on you. So, you open up your projector, and then it works beautifully. And then you can adjust your screen to whatever size you want. Oh, yeah. And you can also add in a friend if you want. So, you go to your plus spot, to video capture, click OK, and then you you, ha you have to have two webcams, so you, you have your other webcam, click on the we other webcam, and there you have your friend, right there. Get out of my face. There we go, and windowed projector, and then you can have him here, and you can enlarge him, but we only need one of him, honestly. But we can do more of me. Hang on. We better make him always on top. There we go. And then we'll make me always on top again. So we can have me. And then. And then. And then you can do a full screen version of me. 
no, of me, like that. Or, and then you can have your full screen buddy. Come on, come on, there we go. Like that. And then you can have both. Just like that. Ta-da! And then, you just Eight. kind of just go like that. Okay. So I hope this video helped you guys out. And I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. And thanks for all, all of you out there that have left likes and for all the awesome feedback that we've been getting back from you. We love hearing from you guys. And we are now at 109 subscribers, which is really awesome. And also, I post videos every Friday. Quentin has Monday. And Marty posts his videos on Wednesday. And uh, I'll see you next time.